Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a few different ways to work with image assets in principle. Let's get started. So this is a design that I'm working on and I'm ready to bring in some new assets. So you can drag in images from Finder into principle. And this image is a retina image so it came in twice as big as it should be. So we could fix this by just dividing the width by two and it'll scale it down. And that works, but if you'd like to skip this step, you can just name your assets at 2x. And when you drag at 2x images into principle, it'll see that in the file name and import it at the correct size so you don't have to scale it down. Now one thing that you might need to do while you're designing is to swap out assets. So let's say that we want to change this profile image. And we have it on two different artboards and we need to change it in both places. So an easy way to do this is you can just select both layers by shift clicking them. And then we can go grab the new asset. So we're going to swap it out for this one. And instead of dragging onto the artboard, which would just create a new layer, we can just replace the images by dragging over this image property right here. And now it's swapped out everywhere. So that's just a quick way to change out for new assets. If you're using principle with sketch, there's a few different things that you can do to make moving assets between the programs a little bit easier. So here's the design in sketch. And if you drag from the layer list, that's an easy way to get the images in. But by default, this isn't going to be at retina resolution. So if you're running on device, these assets aren't going to look good. So one way around this is you can select the layer, make it exportable at 2x. Now when we drag from the layer list, it's gonna be twice the size. So just like before, if we want it to be imported at half the size, we can just rename it to at 2x. So now we drag it in and it's retina and it's at the right size. So we're all ready to go. Sometimes you'll have an image in principle and you'd like to crop it to just show a small portion of the image. And you can do this in principle by grouping the layer and then turning on clip children. So now when you resize the group, it cuts off everything that's outside of the group. So you can see if we turn off clip children, it shows everything outside of the group. We turn it back on and we see only the part that we want. And sometimes you'd like to do a rounded rect crop so you can just turn up the radius on the group. Or if you turn it up really high and set the width and height to be the same, so we'll set it to be 200. That's how you get a circular crop. And if you select the image layer inside, you can drag it to reposition the visible part. And so that's how you crop. And one benefit of cropping in principle, instead of cropping the image asset itself, is that you can animate the crop. So if we duplicate this artboard, and on the second artboard, we reposition the image inside the crop group, now we can animate between them. So we'll select this, add a tap event that goes to the second artboard. And now in the preview window, when I tap on the image, the crop animates to a new spot. 